Welcome to Linked Helper. If you want to get started with the tool, here is a simple guide. Go to the website linkedhelper.com and click Download here. Create an account. At this point, we will ask you a few questions to gain a better understanding of your need. Don't forget to verify your email with us later. Follow the link you received to your inbox. Now click Go to Downloads page. Click on the relevant button to start downloading the installation file. When complete, click on the downloaded file and follow the installation process. The Linked Helper app is on your computer now. Log into your Linked Helper account. Now let's add your LinkedIn account. This time, use your email and password to your LinkedIn account. Welcome to the Launcher panel, where you can open your LinkedIn account. You can stop the onboarding tour if you want. Hover over the account until a green arrow appears and press it. Your account will open in a separate window also known as an instance. When a campaign is not started, you can navigate in your LinkedIn account as you would do via a regular browser. We are close to creating your first campaign. Click Create campaign on the left side. For the first campaign, we are going to use the most popular campaign template in Linked Helper, Invite and Follow-up. You will see a preview of this campaign on the right side. In this campaign, Linked Helper will begin with inviting, and then sending a couple of follow-ups to those who will accept. Now follow the steps of the campaign generator. At step 1, Create a nice connection request message to invite people to your network. Use variables to customize it. In the preview section, you can test the variables. Once you craft an invitation message, click Next, and at step 2 you can decide if you want Lend Helper to withdraw your unaccepted connection requests after a set amount of time. For example, let's change it to 14 days. Or you can decline this step at all. I'm going to leave mine turned on. Next, create a follow-up message to your newly added connections after they accept. Don't forget to click Save and Close. Add another message a few days after the previous one. You can set the delay between two messages here. When done, click Finish. There is another onboarding to help you add profiles to your campaign. Let's follow it. Here select the source you want to collect profiles from. It's going to be LinkedIn search page.
Find your audience on LinkedIn using filters and keywords. When your search query is ready, click on the Collect button on the left side panel and select From Current Page. Allow the tool a few minutes to add profiles to the list of your campaign. You will see how it's progressing here. Some profiles might be skipped. You can hover over the Information Sign button and see why. In my case, they are hidden by LinkedIn. Such profiles are shown as LinkedIn members and you can't see their pages. When enough profiles have been added, you can stop this process by clicking the Stop Execution button. Now press Go to the campaign and here they are, 106 profiles in the queue. Let's have a quick look at the workflow. As a first step, Linked Helper will send invitation requests with a note we created. Then it will check for new connections and at this point it will also cancel unaccepted invites that are older than 14 days. After that, the first follow-up message will be sent and Link Helper will track replies to your invitation note here as well. Then it will check for replies to the first follow-up within two days. Here is this delay between the first follow-up and the second one. Next, another follow-up message and as a final step it will check for replies to the last message. To start the campaign, use the blue button in the upper right corner or the one on the left. Linked Helper will search for contacts on LinkedIn and perform the steps created in the workflow. In our campaign, first it's going to send a connection request to the first profile in the queue. After that, it turns to the filter action and if there are any unaccepted invitation requests older than two weeks, Linked Helper will withdraw them. And this is what this invite and follow-up campaign template looks like. But you can easily modify it. Let's turn back to the point before adding profiles to the campaign. We can add actions to the existing workflow. Use the plus icon in the place where you want an action to appear. Before the inviting step, Let's add the like and comment posts and articles action. This action can help us warm up contact and increase the acceptance rate a little bit. Specify the number of posts and articles to like. Also, let's add a small delay between accepting an invite and the first follow-up message. In the right part of the screen, you can make changes to any action of the workflow. Just click on the action to see its settings. For example, you can change the message template. Or enhance actions with plugins. Each action suggests what plugins can go with it. You can find them in the available plugins for general settings or under More plugins. Plugins can be also found in the plugin store. Like if I want to postpone the start of my campaign to one day from now, I'll go to the Action Extensions tab in the Plugin Store and install the Postpone Action Start plugin. And now if I go back to the workflow, there is a date and time selector available in the general settings of the action. I'm going to put off the action starts for one day. 
let's enhance a couple of other actions too. For the inviting action, I'd like to enable the automatic tag addition once a connection request is sent. Also, when profiles accept my invite, we can make clean helper assign the accepted tag instead of the invited. Thanks to the Action Working Hours plugin, we can create a schedule for messaging actions as it's best to send business messages during reasonable working hours. When everything is set in the campaign, you can add profiles this way. Use the blue button on top of your workflow or the one on the left side next to the queue. Here select your source and platform. Let's collect from the LinkedIn search page too. Profiles are collected to the modified workflow now. If you go to the Campaigns queue, you can open a contacts card, but as Lean Helper hasn't visited their profile page, there is just some basic information, usually name, headline and some IDs. Now I'm starting the campaign. As I postponed the first action start, it's gone to the sleeping mode but I can change the start date in the settings of the like and comment action and the campaign will resume. Once a profiles page is visited, linked helper scrapes and uploads all the information to the contacts card. Let's imagine our campaign has been working for some time and look at the lists we may find here. You've got the queue, exclude list, which is available with the corresponding plugin, processing and processed, successful list, with the processed profiles by the last action, meaning they reached the final point of your workflow, failed list, with profiles that could not be processed by actions due to different reasons, for example, profiles are unavailable or you've already messaged them, and profiles who accepted your invite if a campaign involves the inviting step. You can export any list by selecting all profiles in it and clicking Download. But let's have a closer look at the replied list. It contains profiles that have replied to a message sent within this particular campaign. You can review them, mark some as read and click the speech bubble icon or contact's name to view the whole message in history with a profile and create a response to them. Once you click the Send button, Linked Helper will schedule a message to be sent during the next run of any campaign. You can also manage your replies from the Inbox menu, which is available with a plugin. The Linked Helper inbox can help you track replies and respond to leads directly from Linked Helper. The response we crafted previously is now located in the Scheduled Messages tab.
If you want to create another campaign, use the plus icon located next to the campaign's name, or open the drop-down list and choose Create New. Campaigns are easily created from scratch. Select Empty Campaign to build a workflow that suits your needs. In this campaign, I'm going to use a Visit and Extract action to scrape information from Profiles pages. Here I can also enable an option to extract data from the company page where a profile currently works. And then send this data directly to an external CRM. Switch to the Launcher panel by selecting the dark blue icon on your toolbar. Here you can add more LinkedIn accounts, Buy more licenses when your trial expires. You can also manage your licenses and buy more in the Licenses menu. From the Proxies menu, you can add proxy to change the IP address of your LinkedIn account. A proxy server acts as an intermediary between your device and the Internet, and it will route your request via a certain location, masking your IP address. This is important when you manage someone else's account from a different location or when you manage multiple accounts. You can buy proxy from this proxy provider, for example, IP Royal. As for the type, you can choose the data center, residential or ISP option. It's important to buy private, not shared proxy. You can also check proxies of this provider, Proxy6Net. I'm going to add a proxy to one of my accounts. To learn more about the tool, we encourage you to visit the knowledge base Watch the video tutorials and ask for support Here you will also find the link to the changelog about what's new in the latest version. Thank you for watching and enjoy the LinkedIn automation with Linked Helper.